How did this flight lose part of its fuselage but still manage to land safely? Let me explain. In 1988, Aloha Airlines Flight 243 was cruising at 24,000 feet when a massive section of the fuselage suddenly tore away. A 20-foot portion of the roof near the front of the aircraft was ripped off, exposing passengers to open sky. But the pilots didn't lose control. Despite the chaotic cabin, the flight deck remained intact, and most of the aircraft's critical systems were still operational. However, one flight attendant was tragically pulled from the aircraft during the decompression. Inside, passengers held onto their seats as wind tore through the open fuselage. The captain began an emergency descent and aimed straight for Maui. Even with part of the roof missing and the aircraft shaking violently, the controls remained responsive. Just 13 minutes after the explosion, the Boeing 737 touched down safely. All 89 surviving passengers were evacuated many injured but alive. Investigators later discovered widespread metal fatigue in the aircraft's skin.